anxiety in southeast over ipop seats at home joint army police patrol storm emo streets in show of force security beefed up in oyo magnus Eze, enugu george onyejua Oweri and Oke Samson Umwaya. Palpable air of uncertainty as pervaded towns and cities of Southeast states following a declaration of sit at home today by the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. The group yesterday restated its resolve to enforce compliance even as security forces in the region had been placed on red alert. IPOP Director of Media and Publicity, Emma Powerful, in a statement, warned the federal government and security agencies to stay clear. He declared that nobody could reverse the call on Igbo to remain indoors and not participate in celebrations of Nigerian 60th independent anniversary. Nigerian police and those claiming to be fighting for Biafran freedom but stand against the coming of Biafran are inconsequential because they cannot afford to stop us, he said. The self-determination group said it was working hard for the speedy and successful actualization of Biafran, added that Nigerians cannot scuttle their resolve. It then urged other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria eager for change to demand freedom. Our people must be strong to encourage all other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria who wish to change their lives by demanding freedom. Freedom for all oppressed people is what IPOP is all about, Powerful said. In Oweri, the Imo state capital, there was joint patrol of the police and army which the police command called Operation Show of Force. The movement caused vehicular gridlock as the team patrolled nooks and crannies of the metropolis. Spokesman of the State Police Command, Mr. Orlando Ikioku, told Daily Sun that there was no cause for alarm as the operation was to reassure the people that the police, in conjunction with other security agencies, were capable of protecting them. Similarly, the Abia State Police Command has also warned parents in the state not to allow their children to be used to foment trouble. The command spokesman, Geoffrey Ogbonna, in a statement on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, Janet Agbede, weird that the police would not fold its arms and watch people being used to cause trouble in the state under whatever guise. Meanwhile, the Oyo Police Command said it has put adequate security measures in place to protect citizens. In a statement by the command spokesman, Olu Benga Fadi, the Commissioner of Police, Mwachuku Ewonwu, assured that police tactical teams, including Special Anti Robbery Squad SAS, Anti Kidnapping Squad AKS, SWIFT's Response Squad SRS, Police Mobile Force 4 and 72 Skynet Squad, Puff Ada, Federal and Safer Highway Patrol Team, Counter Terrorism Squad, CTU, have been deployed across the state to provide adequate security for a hitch free celebration. In the same vein, the CP wishes to advise members of the public to be wary of criminal elements that may be bent on carrying out their evil intentions during this period to maim, rob innocent citizens of their hard-earned money and property, he said. Thank you for listening to this news. If they like, let them, let them put uh, um, American police force. That is their own problem. That is their own wahala. No one is asking them not to put the best squad to prevent 
the protest. Let them gather it. The fact still remain that the protests will still be on. You can see this country. You can see how wicked and greedy this country is. You can see what we are talking about when we talk about when we say that this country is a greedy country. You can see. See how they gather all the squad, all the squad to, to, to prevent IPO protests. See how they gather them. Okay, gather this squad to fight Boko people. You cannot. Gather this, this squad to fight um, terrorism. You cannot. But you are gathering squad. You are gathering squad to fight to fight uh, 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 to fight against um, uh, people that are protesting. But you cannot fight Boko people. You don't know the shame. You don't know the disgrace. Let them keep on. Let them continue. The first thing remains that Biafrans, Oduduwa Republic, and those that have decided that today independence will be frustrated, will not take place, will carry out their protest. Yes, enough is enough. We, put, we don't want celebrating this. We don't want it. They deploy, they deploy massive security in most states, in Lagos states, in Oshun, in Oyo. Let them deploy them. For you to know that this independence is, is nothing. See the number of people that are protesting against it. The revolution now is protesting against it. Biafra is protesting against it. Oduduwa Republic is protesting against it. Even Benin Republic is protesting against it. My viewers, every man with his right senses will know that we don't need this independence. We don't need it. It's rubbish. As far as I'm concerned, this independence is arrant nonsense. We don't need it. We don't want it. We don't even want it. Let them go away with their independence. Let them go away with their independence. We have suffered enough. We have suffered enough. How can we continue like this? And why? Why? Who have we offended? The federal government should know that Nigerians are not dollars. They should know that Nigerians know what they are doing. They should know that Nigerians are aware of all of these things. You are celebrating independence and, your, and, and the citizens are a, 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 a lack of jobs. They cannot work. They don't have anything to it. And you are celebrating independence. What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? You are celebrating mockery. You are celebrating terrorism. You are celebrating high level of insecurity. Huh? You are celebrating poor economy. Is that not wickedness? Is that not? Abba, let's call the spirit the spirit and tell ourselves the truth. We are not helping matters. We are not helping matters. This is a scam. This is a scam. This threat is a scam. It will not stop the protest. If they stop the protest physically, they cannot stop it online. I, I charge Nigerians to go online and make it an online protest. Protest. Make no sense of this country because this country doesn't want it. You understand? So, my viewers, what is your take? What's your own advice to this issue? So, please. Do well to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.